As a voice subscriber since the days of Grand Central, I was starting to think Google was going to kill this service. I have a pretty terrible track record of investing in services which are cool but fail to find some consumer excitement. When reports started filtering in that Google was updating voice, I assumed we'd see the end of this standalone service, that we'd see it lumped into an existing product like Project Fi, so you can understand why I'm so excited to see this wasn't the case. Neglected for far too long, Voice has gotten a significant rework, a fresh coat of paint, and a few new tricks. What is Google Voice? Well, we'll let the service describe itself in its own words. Welcome to Google Voice. Google Voice gives you a single phone number that rings all of your phones, saves your voicemail online, and transcribes your voicemail to text. Other cool features include the ability to listen in on messages while they're being left, lock in one of callers, and make cheap international calls. We hope you enjoy using Google Voice. Not only useful for managing multiple phone numbers through one master account, it's also super handy for replying to text messages through a proper computer, a feature iOS and Hangouts users are certainly familiar with. Now, reviewing something like this is always fraught with danger in that I'm likely to show off a ton of personal information. It would be a futile exercise showing my real account, looking like some redacted document on a conspiracy site. So you won't see the full scope of how deeply entrenched I am in Google Voice, you'll just have to trust me, I'm in pretty deep. Setting up a new account must be done through a proper computer and browser, but once completed, installing the new app will swap the web interface over to a sleek new side panel look. App navigation on your phone is cleaner and more in keeping with modern apps. I still don't like top screen mounted hamburger menus, but it's more consistent with other Google services. Sliding right and left will move you through text, calls, and voicemails. If for some reason you're managing multiple voice accounts, you can now cycle through them here like you can in Gmail. Shortcuts allow for fast access to archived messages, spam, and marking all of your messages as read. The last is particularly helpful as reading a voicemail transcript won't mark it as read, so I often ended up with hundreds of unheard messages. The settings menu has a prettier interface, but a few features are buried deeper than they used to be. For example, options like call recording by hitting the number 4 while in a call now need to be manually activated in advanced settings. Also, we no longer seem to have options for conditional call forwarding. So hopefully this means Google's call routing is smarter and we won't have to fight carriers over voicemail issues. Trying to manually enter a call forwarding dialer code resulted in this error message from Google Voice. After the first day, voicemails seem to be recorded properly and are played back fine through this app interface. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Unfortunately, we do seem to lose the voicemail widget which came with older versions of voice, but hey, I was trying to simplify my home screens anyway, right? And what do we have here? An MMS message properly showing up inside the voice app? Well, that's just crazy pants. If any part of the voice service was a hallmark for how neglected this app had become, it was the lack of support for group text and picture messages. This is a long overdue but ridiculously welcome update to a service which has been mission critical to people managing multiple devices or who want a little extra peace of mind that they'll never have to switch or port a phone number ever again. Well done. Well done indeed. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more app reviews like these and help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next video.